So in this video, we are going to learn how to create SAG and SWAL in MATLAB Simulink. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, I'll prepare a simple circuit for a small power system. And then I'll show you how to create SAG and SWAL. So let's go to library. Here we'll go to SIMCAPS. Specialized technology. Fundamental blocks. Electrical sources. Three phase programmable voltage source. Let's add. Then we'll go to elements. Series RLC load. Let's add it. Now we'll go to measurements. Here we'll take three phase VI measurement block. So here basic necessary components are here. So here we'll get one transformer also. So let's get it. Three phase transformer and we are going to use this three phase transformer two windings so here we have three phase transformer now let's prepare the circuit Now the circuit is ready. We are supposed to connect the scope here. So now the circuit is ready. Now let's set the parameters. The supply voltage we are generating, let's say we are generating 11 kV at 50 volts, right? It is our three phase VI measurement block. And we are measuring phase to ground voltage. So make it okay. Now this is our transformer. So we are making it delta delta transformer. <coughs> Let's go to parameters. The transformer is of 50 kVA and frequency is 50 Hertz. So we are converting it from 11 kV to 33 kV. So primary voltage is 11 kV, secondary voltage is 33 kV. It's 50 kV a transformer with 50 hertz frequency. Okay. <coughs> so this load, now let's set the load parameter. The nominal voltage is 33 kV, frequency is 50. It is here it is 10 kilowatt load with 200 VR inductive reactive power. Okay, so now it's time for this transformer. So let's make it D1 to IG. Now let's go for the parameters. Here it's 50. Primary voltage is 33. And let's say secondary voltage is converting it to 415 volts now this load parameters 415 volts is the RMS voltage 50 Hertz frequency let's say it draws 20 kilowatt with 300 VR inductive and zero capacitive okay We have added this power GUI block <clears throat> and now just simply run it for two seconds. Now it's time to create the SAG in this system. So first of all, let's understand what is the definition of SAG. According to IEEE, a SAG is short duration decrement in RMS voltage level on the power frequency that is below 90% of the nominal voltage for period of half cycle and last up to one minute. So that can ranges in between half cycle up to one minute. And this sag can be often caused by fault 
or starting of large motors or switching of various devices. Here we are going to create the SAG using this three phase programmable voltage source. If you want me to create certain types of fault and then create SAG according to that fault, then write that things in comments below and I'll make separate video which creates SAG and swell using certain type of fault. So now let's open this three phase programmable voltage source. Here we have time variation so we'll select amplitude from this and then from here we are going to create the SAG. So what was the definition of SAG? The voltage goes below the 90% of nominal voltage. So here we are going to create voltage level up to 70%. Right? So we'll select 0.7 and then again it will become nominal voltage. Now we'll set the time duration for the SAG. So at zero instant the voltage is 1 TU or nominal voltage. After a certain time, let's say at 1 second, the SAG starts. Let's say we are lasting this SAG for um, 0 0.3 seconds, right? So we'll end the SAG at 1.3 and at this 1.3 seconds, again the voltage will be nominal. Let's make it okay. Let's run. And now observe over here. So you can see here from duration of 1 second to 1.3 second, the magnitude of voltage is reduced. So this is the balanced sag in all these three phase which we have created. The same thing you can see even over here also. The sag is created. Now let's close it. If you want to create the sag only on particular phase, then you can select over here variation on phase A only. Let's make it okay. Now you can see over here that SAG is created only on phase A only. Now it's time to go for swell. So first let's understand what is the definition of swell. I typically define swell as a short duration increase in RMS voltage level on the power frequency and that is above 110% of the nominal voltage. And this variation could be ranges in between half of the cycle to one minute. And this type of swell condition could be created because of sudden load reduction or switching operations. So now over here we are going to create more than 110% voltage. Let's create 1.2. Right. So for the same duration, we are creating swell now. Let's run. And here you can see the swell in output voltage. Right. Even here you can observe the swell. So that's how we can create sag and swell in this power system using this three phase programmable voltage source. But if you want me to create sag using some real faults or starting of large motors or you want me to create swell because of switching of load or other switching operations, then write that things in comments below and if I get a handful of similar comments, I'll make video on that topic. To explore Simulink in deeper sense, watch out this playlist Simulink tutorials and to expand your mastery in MATLAB, you can refer this playlist. So see you into the next video.